What is up you Eastern European pygmy capybaras? In today's video we're going to be playing some Pele in the solo lane. You guys know me, I love this character, especially in the solo lane, especially with this build, the tried and true explosive build. With the infused sigil and the Pridwin glyph, Pele's playstyle is very all-in dive oriented. She's not great when it comes to CC, not the greatest when it comes to utility for her team or helping her team out peel wise, but what she is very good at is diving and being an absolute menace to those backliners. So this build basically facilitates and really supports that playstyle and allows you to actually kill the backliners while being pretty tanky. You also notice that I'm going to be overcap CDR by a little bit, but I always tell people this does not matter. I'm buying these items for their passives and what they give me other than the CDR. I'd buy a Prophetic if it didn't have CDR on it. I'd probably buy a Pridwin if it didn't have CDR on it. So, you know, I'm just getting these items for other reasons. And also just a quick note, I basically build Prophetic in every single tank build. I think it's like the best item in the game, so I think you should also be doing that. Our lane matchup is actually against a Jean Kui, which isn't too bad. And in general right now, I don't think you should ever really lose lane to a mage just because warriors are so strong with their base damage and all of the things that benefit them like Golden Shard, uh, clear time when it comes to the first two buffs, all that. So you should definitely not be losing lanes to mages right now, except for maybe sometimes Hades and Anubis because of their pressure, but... Yeah, and of course, if you really want to win lane, you should be building Bluestone or Axe because Sigil is not an item to win lane. It's more of a late game starter. That's enough yapping for today, my young copybaras. I hope you guys enjoy this Pele solo explosive gameplay. Enemy missing <laughs> what is this song, by the way? Is this a remix with... Rage Against Machine and like some other song. Nem has just been missing this whole time, so I gotta play back. How you doing? Hey ya. What? Alright, I just had to play back because Nemo's missing the whole time. I would have fucking farmed his shit. I literally would have farmed his shit, dog. What's he saying? Strongest Perry sees the matchup? Yeah. That's something you see every day. Famous your last day. Oh, he just killed himself. He would have lived if he just walked to the tower, but he turned back around. I was just doing a little damage test. I would not have killed him. His OP Jong passive. Be right back. Oh, not really, monkey. Just try not to request songs that are longer than like seven minutes. Try not to get, make it too troll or too weird. You know? Stay in for two months, dude. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. And yeah, choose the lyric video so you don't use music videos because there's always random shit happening in that. What type of music we feeling today? I just want some good music, dude. I just want to hear some good tunes. Right Enemy, missing. Enemy, missing. He's just messing around Itachi, it's not a big deal. But yeah, people are like that. Which is funny.
I always think there's a buff there, but there's not. For some reason. Only way I can. What the heck is he building? Only way I can ever kill him is if uh, I get him to use his stun and then I can ult him after. A freaking Agni. Their Agni just there. Oh, no, they didn't get it. Ah. True, Itachi. People take casualties super serious. It is wild. I'll actually get some wards. That's silly of me. Go prophetic next. I'm not talking silly this year. Tips. Just play the really good characters. And rush phalanx. Honestly, man. Oh, face cam. Good call. Sorry. Honestly, man. I feel like solo is such an easy role right now. It's very simple. Just play the good characters. Rush the OP defense items. You can't get out traded unless you do something really horribly wrong. You have to make multiple mistakes in a row. I could have also gotten my glyph. Wait, man, it like League players? <laughs> yeah, I mean, even stuff like that's just so unimportant. There's, there's some things you could do for sure. Yeah, just play off your power spikes. Don't trade with them. Like, always click tab and see what items they have. If they have a defense item first and you don't have your defense item yet, you're going to get out traded. Um, if it's like a really close matchup, like Osiris, Bologna, Famana versus Chalk versus, you know, stuff like that, then just, you don't, you literally just don't have to fight them. Or you can get your defense item and fight them and just slap each other and do nothing to each other. You're playing a late game character don't just sit there and give them the pressure that they want in lane by fighting them awesome. all right we'll get a prophetic start stacking that get a uh Jotun's Glyph when we can. I might go the Infused route and go Pridwin and stuff and just kind of run at them. I'm going to go Blink Beads. I have to go Beads this game for the Heim, Sobek and stuff. Because if I dive and like ult on top of them, I don't want to just get Heim ulted away from diving. It's good, Rain Lane. How's yours? I mean, a lot of it's just going to come with experience from playing lane. Like you said, you, you just play jungle and when you get off-road, you're, you're struggling. It's just because you don't play solo, you know? If you just play it a little bit more, you'll get a lot more comfortable. That's why I always recommend to people, you can have your main role and you can get better at that role and enjoy it, but if you want to climb ranked and be a better player overall, you should try and uh, off roll a lot, play different roles and learn. Because it'll make you better at your main role, but it'll also make you more comfortable when you off roll, so that you can get more ranked wins.
We're actually at full CDR right now. For some reason, John Crew rotated mid there that he didn't get a kill. And it's not very good. I'm just gonna go in and back since my way is pushed. Get my Jotun's Glyph and my beads. I don't ever go TP on Paley for the most part because she just gets back to lane so fast with her threes and it's so good to have like blink thorns, blink beads, blink whatever late game. You're already a late game character, so. What up Dinah? How are you doing today, dude? Get me low, get me low. Unlucky. Waterfall. Waterfall. I just get this. But he got the scepter. Worth? Do have been getting ganked there, right? Like, in the sky. Pet the dog, please. Is he whining? No way the Magi's Rush is working out for Bobby. No red Tiki, man? That is unfortunate. Get in, Marty. Nice. Wow. Good stuff, in the sky. Mid Guardian male for sure here. They have an M jungle. It's good against time. Just the best like physical tank item in the game, in my opinion. Hey, Matt, you and the cliff is coming up. Slain, 
Probably would have killed him on my own just because my unit clip popped and I think my passive popped as well. So I kind of just was one shotting. We're well, not one shotting, but healing a lot. He has no anti heal, so. X ball has mannequins, man. Oh, it's so bad, man. Don't go mannequins on X ball. Or anyone for that matter, but definitely not X ball. What's the new tech? You're you're watching the process of a scientist in the lab laboratory creating the new technology right as we speak. I'm developing the new technology now. We'll go Pridwin. Heartwork glyph. The silence heartwork glyph. Oh, that'll be nice. Especially for the Heim. Silencing him out of his uh teleport later on. That'll make it really annoying for him. Did I just lag out? I couldn't three. Poor Neapolitan. Getting camped. Metal strong. I have full CDR and my ult almost already back up. Probably could have just rotated mid there instead of backing, but. Okay, you're pretty fast. This Heim was from the last game, he's the Artemis. He's fucking 18 farming now. At least we killed Heim and x is getting farmed during all of this when he's really behind. And beads. Why not go mannequins? It's horrible. It, x balls gets so much damage from his scaling. Uh, especially with his bolas and everything. His early game. You're just not going to be able to clear. I mean, this, and then also, that also applies to everyone for the record. Only one maybe is like uh, Heim that it doesn't apply to. But every character gets way more benefit out of their abilities and their, their autos from uh, a star right and that gives them power, like Leather Cow, which gives them power, lifesteal, attack speed, movement speed. Like, literally it's a thousand times better than mannequins. I used to rooster. I live in Atlanta now because I moved for the SPL. May it rest in peace. But I, we still live in Atlanta. 50 CDR? Eh, it doesn't matter. We do not care about overcapping CDR, and you shouldn't either when you buy good items. I'd literally buy Prophetic. Prophetic would still be the best tank item in the game if it didn't have CDR on it. Should have switched to Red Tiki there. Oopsies. That I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have overcapped even more with the blue tiki. Lucky. Marty took my top damage. One OP character. Yeah, I do, sorry. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I know a lot of people that went to UCF. My brother graduated from UCF. 
I believe my sister actually recently graduated from there as well. I know that sounds bad that I don't know for sure, but I went to UCF for a little bit before I dropped out for Smite. It's also the same reason you shouldn't go ornate. Wanted to go for that wave, but I knew they would get kind of gank me. You play this mini game of uh, stacking my prophetic. It'd be so nice if you got like. It'd be cool if you get like five gold for each prophetic stack. That'd be fun. Okay, we can just go so back. I really wish I could have bolted in. I mean, I still could have, but... That was so awkward. They kept putting me in combat. I wanted to dive with last, but... I also could have just backed for this. For the freaking time bomb. Bad rooster. Unlucky. Did not come up. an OP character. The way that guy's got. I mean, I guess, it, yeah, it makes sense that he has it actually. Never mind. Get some good damage to him. I need this uh, MP5 from Artward stat. Actually, I have a decent amount of mana though. Is it just Jotuns that gives me mana? Why do I have so much mana? 1200 is a lot. Actually, we'll go yellow. So you guys have anti-heal. Look at his damage. Fuse procced on him as well for 400! No, I just wanted a prophetic stack. There we got it. Oh no, sorry.
What is he doing? I think people request this song quite a bit on my stream. So I've heard it recently, Nick, but... There for a sec. Almost the Peter Glyphon build. We got three glyphs. Oh, they're delish, right? Thanks for asking. Some ribeye, baby. We actually have a lot left over as well. Usually we get a lot of leftovers and we can make some steak sandwiches the next day. It's quite nice. It's perfect. True. I think that was just me, though, to be fair. I can freeze up a lot of me, but. Just Smite that does that, but. I just silenced his- I just silenced his fucking. uh, oh my god! I just silenced his two! And farmed the fuck out of him. I just silenced him too! I'm telling you guys, Heartwood silence is so busted. Infused on that guy's head. How are they, like... He could've- imagine he dashed right there, or tried to dash, and I just silenced him, and then he's getting knocked up. Fucked. Sucked, you know what I mean? It's actually insane. I'm telling you guys, this is like the best. This is such a good item. The more and more I use it, the more I fall in love. I silenced the Heim out of his two, so it didn't knock me up. And then also, like, if he tries to TP away right there, he can't. Like, he can't even place his crystal. And buying like two seconds or forcing them to use their beads or something is just so important for like a tank. Nice. Oh, yeah, right. You definitely couldn't do it with this when you get your wisdom teeth out. What kind of stakes you have? I personally think ribeye is the best, um, but obviously it's pretty fatty. I mean, that's why it's probably the best. But you can't have it too often, you know? Oh, that's too bad. That is unlucky, man. Taunt's on his head. Right. What, what were they doing? This guy is going oom. Oh. Well, I think we would have killed everybody if they just stuck with us, stuck together. Of course, Young Rich, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you watching the YouTube for so long, man. Yeah, ribeyes are sick. I didn't have my full prophetic there, sadly. But I go get it here. Just gotta go hit one physical. Maybe I take a little speed buff. Some Wagyu stick yesterday, I wish I could afford another. I've actually, I think, only had Wagyu like once. 
but keep moving. Here we go, prophetic fully stacked. Music broken? Hello? Too close to touch the Fury and letting go did not play. You're gonna have to re-request it, guys. Oh, bing earlier. I'll attack left lane. Be careful. I'm just gonna get this wave pushed in so I can walk in through left a little bit and be annoying. Okay. I just dash. Oh, my infuse I did so much damage. Wait, why aren't they instantly getting that Phoenix when two people are left? Could have easily just walked up and hit the Phoenix and then we could have fought after. Kibbutzik, thanks to Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Ponzo family. Much appreciated. Oh, oh. Look at the infused damage there. Oh, it was more before. Time down. I'm such a brain dead character, man. It's so stupid. Sheesh. Hit him with the the wombo. How do you guy? You have to hit uh, enemy gods with abilities or autos or anything really. So it's like scepter and stuff. You have to hit 15 physical, 15 magical. Like they have to be those types of characters. Just plucked in. There's two people over here, guys. I gotta be a little bit careful here. What? How are we losing the fight? On my way. An ally has been slain. Follow me. I have my beads, but okay. how are they losing a 4v3? They literally didn't have a Sobek there. Uh, Sobek where I'm. Four v three with fire actually is what happened. Oh, I can get this. No, I think the Twitch or the tier one dude. Welcome to the fun of the family. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. And young rich thanks to Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you, dude. Welcome back, or welcome. Wait. Attack fire, 
Yeah, my beads are still down. Build until they be good with Naja Solo? Eh, it'd be okay, but. On my way. Nothing crazy. He's a lot harder. He's a, uh, a lot worse at just like running them down and sticking to them with like, I mean, he's pretty good at it, but like his all in in that manner. Like, do you see how I all end right there? Like, Naja, no, I can't do something like that. My Fee's got a lot of value there, I'm pretty sure. Kinda just freaking farmed him. Worked out, they perk baited the Nem dashes so I could blink on her and then Agni came over and dashed through and then I hit him with like my ult, I think it infused proc and just one shot him. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably go bluestone on Azure Solar if I was gonna play him. This build is so bad in my opinion, rely on Pridman for most of the damage. Uh, Well, here's the thing, buddy. Every tank build relies on Pridman for damage. And I'm a tank. Also, my infuse does more damage than my Pridwin. Also, my base damage is really sick, especially with my ult. And I rely on Blink for killing people while being super tanky. So I actually have like six or seven forms of damage that I rely on. And it all adds up. That's why I don't have to rely on a single one. I, I add it all together and it's an amalgamation of damage that makes me tanky yet powerful to kill them. <laughs>